Well, the CIA and DOJ are reportedly covering up for the alleged Ukraine whistleblower because the agencies are refusing to confirm or deny the existence of the person's text messages and emails. One America's John Hines sat down with Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton to learn more. What response have you received from the CIA regarding your FOIA request? Well, actually, we ended up suing because they didn't give us a response. So we filed a lawsuit. Lo and behold, we get a response from the CIA and Justice Department. Now, this person shows up in the Mueller report by name, and it's well reported he was a CIA official who had been appointed not only to help the Obama White House detail. the alleged whistleblower. Right. He was detailed to the Obama White House, supposedly, by the CIA to help lead on Ukraine issues at the National Security Council uh, for Obama and for a time under Trump. So he was involved in a lot of Ukraine issues, including meetings with some of those folks who have been implicated in targeting Trump out of Ukraine. So what he was doing is very important, aside from the fact he may be the chef leaker. So we finally get a response from the CIA and the Justice Department, and the CIA tells us they can't confirm or deny the existence of the records. John, it's disturbing to see that the CIA and the Justice Department are covering up the actions of their agencies in the impeachment of the President of the United States in terms of abuses that may have taken place that bring him down. And so uh, rather than uh, continue the cover-up, I would hope they'd be on the side of accountability, but now we're fighting them in court. Cover-up, that seems kind of strong language. Are you sure you use that language? Well, you know, when there's a man whose name is in a, Mueller, in a, in a government report and they don't want to give us one document on it, when it's well uh, known within Washington, D.C., uh, that this person was assigned to the uh, two White Houses on Ukraine policy and the CIA pretends they can't tell us anything about what he was up to, uh, how else would you describe that but as, as a cover-up? How does uh, Judicial Watch proceed now if the CIA and DOJ refuse to confirm or deny the existence of the whistleblower's communications records? Well, we'll obviously be yelling from the rooftops about it, uh, about the cover-up, but in the end, the court is going to have to decide whether this is a legitimate exemption, whether the CIA's and the Justice Department's refusal to give us one document. We won't get one document on uh, the man that many people are, think are behind the impeachment and, and the attempted removal of the President of the United States, whether that's appropriate or not. And plus, we have a third lawsuit uh, against the State Department for his communications with the State Department about some of this Ukraine games, gamesmanship that was going on, where uh, it looks like the Obama administration was pressuring Ukraine uh, to target Trump world. Uh, we Pressuring were showing Ukraine to target. Right. So uh, if, if it looks like he was involved in that in terms of meetings at the White House, certainly the visitor log suggests he was meeting with some of the key players there. Uh, so this is a pretty comprehensive investigation. And, uh, you know, there's got to be accountability. You have taken great pains not to mention the name of the alleged whistleblower. Can I ask you, why is that? Well, if this video were to appear on YouTube and Facebook, we wouldn't know anything about this story because Facebook and YouTube and Instagram have caved in to pressure from government officials like Adam Schiff and are covering up uh, the name of a government official who was involved in one of the biggest corruption scandals in American history, Russiagate, Ukraine, and the coup attack against the president. This is one of the greatest censorship issues in American history. Millions of Americans have faced this suppression and censorship as well. Uh, so this impeachment, this coup attack on the president, uh, the damage continues in terms of its assault on our constitutional freedoms. We can't talk about a government official without having our, without having our material censored. It's really incredible. Tom Fitton, President of Judicial Watch, thank you for talking to us on One American News. You're welcome. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.